Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that's sweating its butt off today. Today, we're going to be talking about my favoriteest watch ever and how I've made it even better. But first, we're going to pay some bills. Okay, so, what do you guys call a fake noodle? An impasta. Right? Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I'm just going to start throwing dad jokes in when I don't know what to say. But I want to congratulate C.K. Steven on our Pacific Salt 2 giveaway. He won it. But here's the funny thing. Like, three people have won this and never claimed it. I told you guys I would give you 24 hours. So I'd leave a comment underneath your comment, and then I'd wait 24 hours. Three people have won this since I've been trying to give it away. You guys are weird, man. Just check on it. Why wouldn't you check on it? Why do you enter a giveaway and not check? How do you win things if you don't check? Check, 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 check. So anyway, CK Steven, you won. I asked him if he saw the comment. He said yes, and then I never heard anything back for another day. So what do I do, guys? Leave it in the comments. Should I wait for CK Steven for another day or so, or should I just pick somebody new? And listen, don't look out for number one. I know you're going to say pick somebody new, but what's fair here? What do I do as the streamer? You let me know what a streamer should do if people aren't, aren't, uh, you know, claiming their wins. So CK Steven, you won so far. If you don't pick it up, what am I going to do? You know, so I hope you're okay, but, you know, check the comments. Okay, here we are. Here is my G-Shock. Okay, here's the G-Shock. And this is the model GW-B5600BC-1 BJF. If you know what that means, great. I don't. Don't care. I've only had one. Kind of only really want one. Although these are very, very collectible. Don't get me wrong. G-Shocks are incredibly collectible. I mean, I see so many different flavors of this watch that I want. Now, here, let me take this off. New band from Barton Watch Bands. So this is, I, I went with a canvas gray band. I think it's like a 22 millimeter. And they give you these like adapters here that go in here. And also the watch band's really nice because it's got quick release um, tabs here. You don't really need any tools or anything like that to put it on. It's actually very nice. Now, the adapters were a real pain in the butt to put on. Can you see that here? Here, let me get closer. Can you guys see this? I'm trying to reach over the mic, do all this stuff. Look. See that right there? That's the adapter. So if you have larger wrists, this might be a little weird. But on my medium smaller wrists, right, it sits like that. Let me see. Here. See? And it's actually extremely comfortable. Now, you all know this is my favorite watch of all time. And it actually, it's a negative display. And this is one of those ones where you do that and, um, you know, the backlight comes on. But right now it's in full light. It's not on my wrist. I've never had a problem seeing this display. A lot of people ask. I like the negative display better, actually. I think it's just a sharper look. But it did come with this combi bracelet. If any of you want this combi bracelet, let me know. I'll get it out to you. I have a few more links for it and stuff. It's pretty cool, actually. Don't get me wrong. It's a sharp look. I could probably even sell this bracelet. I, I, I think they're sought after. So maybe I'll throw it on eBay. I don't know. But either way, this bracelet was cool. The problem was is when I started my stupid arm wrestling training, right? I do this all the time, and my wrist started getting fatter, and then this thing got tight, and I didn't want to add new links to it, and on top of that, it wasn't like a comfortable fit, like, this is okay, but out in the woods and stuff like that, I don't want this type of combi bracelet. I would instead much prefer something more long-term, uh, like this canvas here. Now, Barton Watch Bands does offer hybrid designs that are some sort of, like, you know, different material on the outside with maybe something else on the inside for rigidity. I don't know. They, they offered an, another type that was like a hybrid style. And then they also offer, here, let me get this other watch, Seiko SK-5 coming at you, bang. Here's a Barton watch band, right? But the problem with this guy is, let me put this on. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Okay, here we go. So here is, where is it? Okay, here is where my band used to go. Now, if you can look really closer, see, this broke broken right there. So bink. And then we just drop down. Look. So these little silicone bands, I would wear this at the gym. And as I was working out, this thing broke. Where is it? There it is. There's the one that broke. See? 
So now I don't trust the silicone bands, even though I love these things. This is the most comfortable you can get. Maybe a wider one might be better, but now I don't trust them because that's the second time that's happened. I've had two watches with these types of bands and I've broken one of these, um, you know, grommets, holes, whatever's uh, before. So I decided to go with the canvas. Now, the first couple of days I had this, it was very uncomfortable, actually. Um, this keeper in the back here was very sharp. And it's only got like one stitch. I, I hope that holds up over time. Now, I've been wearing it for about a week, and I know that's not a long time. But the reason I'm doing this video today is because within that week's time, this band has actually gotten much, much more comfortable as I've broken it in. Okay? Look, see, it's a little awkward with this keeper. But once you get it set to where, you know, and again, I have medium-sized wrists, kind of on the smaller side, actually. There we go. It's actually pretty nice. This digs in right here, though, if I'm doing something strenuous. You know, it's not too bad now. Now it's actually pretty comfortable. And this watch is just amazing. You know, I, I get it wet. I take it outside. I've never needed to charge it. Uh, you do, th this is a uh, Bluetooth compatible, and it kind of goes off the phone and the atomic clock to set itself, which is amazing. I never need to set this watch. I'll never need to change a battery on this watch. Uh, about a half hour outside, they say it charges it for about 10 months. The feature where you kind of turn and the light comes on, the backlight, where is it? First of all, I don't even know how to turn it off. Hang on. Bing. Did it work? Look, yeah. So it just activated. Sorry, it was off camera. Just got to take my word for it. When you go like this, it activates. Now, when this watch is fully charged, that is a really awesome feature, with the exception of a lot of times you're doing something and the backlight comes on and you didn't really intend it. And I wonder if that's been draining the battery. So I wonder if I should turn that feature off. But it really is just so nice when you just kind of pop up and then you can see what you're doing. And with like a backlight like this, this trumps Loom any day. Loom you only have for a couple hours. This is actually very bright uh, at night. I'm not going to turn off the lights, but just take my word for it. This is very, very bright at night, easy to see, and I love it to death. That being said, all my hand movements just keep activating it. And what if I don't want to make that light? Or, um, you know, what if I'm draining my battery in that way? So that may be something to think about. That being said, I haven't had any issues. And uh, we have a little garden outside. So every day I just kind of water all the plants. And that's enough to keep this thing fully charged, just indefinitely. Um, now the canvas strap is a lot more comfortable, in my opinion, than the combi bracelet. Even though I think this is more sought after, obviously. but. Uh, I think Barton Watchbands is a pretty good company. I, I like the stuff that they offer. These adapters were just hell to put on. It took me forever. I could not adjust it until I took off the bezel. Once I took off the bezel, it was easy. So if you guys are having a hard time putting these on, I highly recommend that you take the bezel off. And now that I know how to do all that, I'm considering customizing it, maybe getting a, you know, some sort of metal bezel. I think I want to get those bull bars to uh, protect it. This is my apocalypse watch. This is my forever watch. This is my everyday. I love it. I love it. So this is great. Barton watch bands. This is awesome. You know, CK Steven, I hope you pick up your knife. This is courtesy of Josh Wright, by the way, who's sending in another knife for review. I'm looking forward to that. So thank you very much, buddy. I do appreciate you. Everybody in the comments thanked you as well. They just all forgot to check them after. And the saddest part about this giveaway was the first guy that won it, his comment was like, I never win anything, but I'll give it a shot. Well, you won this, bud, but you just never followed through. So I don't think your problem is luck anymore. I think your problem is, uh, you know, follow through and, and planning. So I'm kind of like a little weirded out. I think in the future, you guys got to just work with me on this one, you know, check a little more, but that's okay. No big deal. We've been getting a pop of orders for she's lately for dragon scale concealment. I'm honored. Thank you. Keep it coming. Uh, I need the money. This helps me out. This is great. And if you have all your sheath needs met, like you don't need another sheath and that's fine. Don't buy one just to help me out. But what you could do, and Lily reminded me to tell you guys, you could purchase one of my books. And this is the book I think you guys would like. I wrote two books and this is the one that I think I know most of you guys will like. How do I know this? Well, we spent about two years together, uh, you know, laughing in the comments and I get your sense of humor and stuff. This is right up most of your guys' alley. My second book, I don't think is for you. That's the one that's for <laughs> the other crowd, so to speak. So this is the book that I'm going to push on you guys because it's got a lot of, you know, boner and fart humor. It's a dark comedy. There's magic and sorcery and silliness. I'm the main character in it, so it's very silly. 
So it's called Unkillable Joe by me, Joe Valen. That's my pen name. Check it out on Amazon. This is how you can really help me out. But more importantly, I think you're going to laugh your butt off. And when's the last time you read a book? Don't answer that. I know it's been years, but now's the time. Your boy wrote a book. He needs your support. Get over there. So subscribe, Starians. Thank you very much. You can also help me out on there too. Uh, congratulations to Pat O'Brien for winning the custom sheath. He's sending in a, uh, a tracker for me to make a sheath for, which is great. I don't have any attachments that's going to work for that laying around, but maybe I'll order something special for you, bud. But Pat's an awesome guy, so I'm happy to make a sheath for him, and I'm really happy he won. So that's about it. I mean, we're running a little long today, but I just wanted to cover this Barton watch ban. This is a very popular watch. My video of it is, you know, highly viewed for my channel. And uh, I just figured I'd touch base with you guys and let you know it's still the one. This is still the watch I love. And now that I uh, paired it with this uh, canvas Barton watch band, I love this watch even more, man. I'm so happy with my EDC now. Have you ever gotten to this point in your EDC journey where you're sort of set and you really don't want anything else? That's kind of sad to hear from a guy with a gear review channel, right? So that's why you guys got to send me stuff because I'm not really buying a lot of stuff and I don't really want to buy a lot of stuff just to review it. So send me in anything you want to hear my thoughts on. You know you're going to hear something weird if, if I'm reviewing it. But on a whole, I would say that I'm pretty well set in my EDC and this is my watch for life. I love it. 42 millimeter case, 13 millimeters uh, thick. So it doesn't sit too high. And it just fits my medium smaller hands perfectly. If you have a, a, a bigger wrist, you know, this would be even better for you. So it's not quite as small as something like, you know, the SK5 or something like that. This is a tiny little one. You know, and this, this sits a little smaller. But because of the see-through case back, you do get a little bit more height in the case here. And I believe this is like 11 millimeters. This is like 13. So it's not a big difference at all. I don't mind it. I love the look of these watches. You know, when I see somebody wearing a G-Shock, I know they mean business on some level. As do I. As does my wrist. <laughs> so um, this is where it's at. Anyway, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, supporting me, getting over there on subscribe star. What else? My arm wrestling journey is actually continuing now, and I'm getting to the point where it's time to get back into competition, I think, at least for my weight division. I think I'll be, I think I'm going to be a bit of a problem for a lot of people. Even at 42, that's what's cool about arm wrestling. You can do it when you're older, and it's one of the few combat sports, and yes, I do consider it a combat sport, that you can do when you're a little bit older. And I play chess. Those are my two competitive hobbies that I love. Uh, what do you guys do when you, when you want to be competitive? Because I believe that is the spirit of man, is, is competition. You know, if you're not competing at least against yourself on at least like, I don't know, I'd say like a monthly basis in some way. I mean, you could be competing with yourself like, oh, last month I made this much money. I got to make more next month. That's competition in some way. But I really like to uh, look my opponent in the eye and I take a sick satisfaction from when they, uh, they appear helpless on the arm wrestling table. So <laughs> that's my style. I don't like to, I don't like to uh, pin people. I like to just hold them until they give up. So <laughs> that's my favorite. But yeah, I take my share of losses too. Don't get me wrong. So, you know, little update on me, my life. Lily says hi. I'm going to have her on the channel next time, I believe. And um, I think she's going to review for us her baby banter. She's a baby banter and Lily's not really like a knife person. So that's kind of like her first real knife that she's carried on a daily basis. And I think you guys would get a kick out of her thoughts on it. So maybe I'll have Lily review that one next week. And uh, so you guys can get to know her a little bit better. Since you guys have been so supportive, you know, we really appreciate you. And um, it's been a journey, man. Also, uh, shout out to Josh Fields, who has his own YouTube channel now. Find him in the comments. Click on his stuff. I really enjoy his channel as well. And I'm really happy that he decided to start posting. If you guys make your own YouTube channel, you have your own businesses to promote, you make something, you know what I mean? Like, I'm always shilling for myself with the sheaths. We have holsters now. Uh, Nico's making the holsters. I'm making the sheaths. He provides Serico options as well. So it's pretty cool. You guys know that I'm always promoting my books. There's Unkillable Joe. It's a keeper, man. It's a lot of fun. So if you haven't read in a while, do that. And of course, I love to give things away, so I hope, I hope CK Steven sees this. If not, I'm going to wait a day. I'm going to give it to one of you other guys. Just check the comments from the video of this knife. Anyway, enough jabbering. I'll see you guys next week on 5-Minute Knurfles.
you.